stand tall So why didn't you, why didn't you call So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the 1.6 playthrough here with Walter on Bluebell Farm. I just want to say a massive thank you for all of your support. You guys have been so amazing. You seem to really, really enjoy this series just as much as me. It's one of my favourite things I've ever done. You know, me telling a story, creating this for you guys. All of the intros and the story behind Walter. Yeah, you guys are really enjoying it. So thank you all so much for the comments and the likes. I read every single one. I've actually made some notes because you guys have been giving some awesome suggestions of what we can do and implement into this series for Walter. So we will go through some of those um, in a second. It's going to be a sunny day tomorrow. It's a sunny day today. It is the 8th of summer. What is our fortune today? Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Now, one thing I am going to do straight away, this is a suggestion that you guys have been telling me to do, and that is this new shirt that we found. Walter should only wear this when he's going to like festivals or special occasions because it's quite fancy. And we'll just wear our normal dungarees, our farmer style clothing when we're on the farm and just doing all the chores so that is awesome and we can actually use these drawers that I completely keep forgetting to, to use so any of our extra clothing can go in here and it's the same with the hat so I'll put on the old classic Walter shirt just whilst we're on the farm now you may notice some of the icons have changed a little bit more because the mod that I use to make the the vanilla sprites change it'll make them a little bit more bigger and sharper and just more realistic well that's just had a recent update so a lot of the icons have changed and been updated and improved including the brand new 1.6 items so yeah the icons might change a little bit I mean we even get our tools now as you can see our tools have actually been redesigned too not just the items now another thing that I will say as well we now have the mod installed. When Walter sits down on a chair to rest, the energy and stamina will increase slightly. I think it's one per like minute or something in the game. So yeah, it's going to go very slowly, but that means he can rest. So I love that. Now, another thing. We missed a spot. You guys have been going crazy. This sprinkler here, I think this is the one you're on about. Yep, that is a spot right there that can get watered. Now, we need to plant the squash. We have one seed here and it takes six days. So we don't want to forget about this. But perfectly, we have a spot right there now. Lovely. Now, I don't think there is any more. I think that's the one that you guys were saying. But look, our poppy is done as well. So the poppy is just for our collection. We need to sell it. Sunflowers are still growing. Yeah, it looks like no crops have finished. Oh, hold on. Oh, we got a cheeky little radish hiding behind there. So that means we've got two spots now for seeds. But I don't know if we've got any more seeds left. We do have some mixed seeds and even a mixed flower. So I'll do one of each. We may as well use these spaces that we've got. So we'll try and get some random new crops. I love these new icons. They are so good. It actually changes the crops in the ground a little bit as well. To, to match the new sprites, which is so cool. Now we've got some jelly done. Three lots of strawberry jelly, which is so nice. Um, we'll put three more on. got a radish to sell with the poppy because we don't need any of those but it's going to be for the collection now we have five gold ore which means we can make one bar i love that and then we'll do a bit more copper but we are basically out of ore now we've got no iron we're nearly out of coal we've got some stone here from the recycle so let's put a soggy newspaper in here and try and get a cloth we still need to get our first cloth 
food, still looking good. Let's say hello to the chickens. Now another suggestion, well not a suggestion, a reminder, we need to go and get the puffer fish. We can only get it up until, I think it's between 12 and 4 p.m. So as soon as it gets to 12, I'm going to catch that today because it's sunny. It's the perfect time to do it. We don't want to forget about it. So we will be getting that today. Now, another thing that I saw one comment, um, only one comment, but it did get quite a lot of likes on it. So I want to ask you guys, when I do a big mine run, literally like morning till night, I usually just do a time lapse to speed through it because it's quite long. It can take me a good 15, 20 minutes in real time. And I put some music in the background, time lapse it. One comment I read was they would prefer not for me to do that. No time lapse, no sped up, just me down the mines, showing the interesting bits and kind of just being there with me in the moment rather than just seeing the sped up version. Now, would you guys like that? Because I would be happy to do no more time lapses and I feel like it might make things more cozy and relaxing that way. I think it would fit this series. So do let me know if that is something that you'd, you'd also like see implemented, like remove the time lapses and we can do that. Now these rubber boots, I'm also gonna put them in our wardrobe, all of our new boots that we get and we can kind of change. Now we've got some things to sell mayonnaise this that and that but what i'm gonna do as well is our pickaxe is ready we need to go and pick it up right also good morning chief let's give him a nice drink there we go so yeah maybe pickaxe and then fish or shall we fish first and then get a pickaxe because we only have until 4 p.m anyway i think we might be able to get that pretty fast so let's try and get it first i mean it is literally 12 p.m in a second hello leah one thing i will say as well you probably see the portraits I've had a little bit of an update. So they are still very vanilla style. This is a mod that I've really enjoyed for a long time. It just kind of enhances the villagers and the sprites on the portraits a little bit to make them look a bit more realistic. It kind of goes with the theme of all of our icons that we've changed as well. So yeah, just for this playthrough, I feel like the characters look slightly different, even though they're the same, they've just got a bit more detail. So like Leah here has some freckles on her face, her hair's a little bit more detailed. And yeah, you'll see that. Um, all of the characters portraits have changed a little bit. So here there's the male Lewis. They still look very similar I think he's just had a little bit of a tidy up of his hair still very vanilla and what we used to but a bit more realistic more detail So yeah, you might see a little bit of changes with the portraits, but other than that everything is the same We'll have a little look at Elliot There we go. Look at that now. We always thought um, Elliot looked a bit mature and old even though he's one of the young candidates, he should be in his, what, his 20s, because you can marry him. But his portrait made him look really old. Now this is more like it. It matches his hairstyle here as the sprite, and he looks younger. So I really like that one. And you can see Alex here as well, a little bit more detail in the eyes. Here's Hayley, again, very, very similar to what we used to. Just a bit more detail, a bit of shine in the hair. I really like it. Let me know what you guys think to that. But the crab pots are done here. We have actually got our first, I think that's our first shrimp. Now the crab pots actually change with the, the fish sprites. It comes with the mod that changes all the fish and the tackle. All right, let's try and get this. It shouldn't take Walter too long. He's a pro at fishing now. He's very good. This might be it straight away, hopefully. That was a little bit more feisty than I thought. Than I remembered, but there we go. Look at how cute the puffer fish looks with the, uh, the mouth open. So adorable. But that is that done. Another suggestion was to make this uh, the bobber selection random. So then we can get different ones. We've actually unlocked quite a few now. We've got a cute slime, the cat. We've also got the hook, the Joja Cola. So yeah, we'll randomize that. That's going to be awesome. I do actually need to buy a new... Oh, it's the trap bobber. That's the one. It looks a little bit different now. In my opinion, the tackle looks so much better. Look at the spinner and the bobbers and the treasure hunter. Oh, they look so cool. And the rods as well. I love it. I was going to buy a new trap bobber, but there's no fish that we need to catch now. I think we've done all the summer fish that we can do. So actually, I don't need one yet. So we need the puff fish for the CC. I cannot sell that. That is not a good idea. But I will sell the mussel, the shrimp, and the clam. I'll keep the seaweed. We need it for fish ponds. I'd love to get a fish pond today. Right, let's go and get a pickaxe. We've upgraded it to steel. Which means we can progress down to the mines. Oh, also, I have seen comments. We're going to do this bridge, okay? In this episode, we will get to the other side of there. I think we've got enough wood for it. So, yeah, we'll do it. Because it's summer. It's the best season to go to that side of the beach. Because you can get quite a lot of, um, of good stuff over there. But there's Jazz's portrait. Look how cute she looks. She looks a bit worried there. And there's Vincent. 
I kind of show off all the portrait designs and you let me know what you think. But we're going to purchase our first ice cream because we need this. So there we go, 250 is for the CC. We've now also got the puffer fish as well. That's two that we need. And there is our steel pickaxe. Oh, it looks awesome. Now let's say hello to Clint. Let's see what he looks like. There we go. Look at him. It actually makes him look more handsome in my opinion. Yep, I'm a blacksmith. My father was also a blacksmith. My grandfather was a blacksmith as well. I bet you can't guess what my great-grandfather was. A silly clown? Haha, <laughs> good one. Walter is funny. He's got that banter. I think in the last one, I made a little, a little joke with Clint. I was like, do you want a drink? Do you want a beer? I was like, tough, you're not having one. I kind of feel like that's going to be the, the running pattern between Clint and Walter. Almost like they don't like each other, but they do. And they kind of like have a laugh and some banter. Walter's a little bit like harsh with Clint, a bit, a bit silly, but it's all good. It's just jokes, you know, just jokes. Now here is Granny Evelyn. Now her portrait is one of my favourites. Look at this. Look how adorable she looks. I feel more energetic in this wonderful weather. Now we're going to do something with Evelyn a bit later. There's um, like a special unique thing that we can do, which I've never done before. So that's going to be interesting. Haley is a picky eater. It's so hard to cook for her. Let's have a look at Caroline. Oh, Caroline looks nice. I kind of think that looks way more like her than the original as well. On Wednesdays, the shop is closed. Keep that in mind if you're going to need anything. And Jodie, she's going to look as gorgeous as ever, I'm sure. Oh yes, yeah, she does. Stunning. Summer is nice, but it's all, but it also means more work. I'll have to keep the garden in shape on top of working in the house. We do actually have more coffee beans that we could plant as well, to be honest. We've actually got the bone flute as well, but we're going to put the puffer and the ice cream in there. We've got seven seaweed. That's good. We can actually get the fish pond. And our first ever gold bar. Oh, the chickens are coming inside. I'll get this mayonnaise for today then. Got even more torches. Got so much of these, these things now. Let's just basically say it's never going to be dark around here. It's well lit, that's for sure. So I think, let's have a look see if we've got enough wood. I think we do. We'll go and do the bridge. Why not? Let's take some goodies over there. I will also take a few more extra trees down for today. Use the stamina. Oh, the tools look so much better. I think maybe we'll do a mine run tomorrow for the first time with our new pickaxe. And we'll try and get down... As close as we can to the gold floors. We need to check the mushroom cave as well. Oh, can we break these now? Oh my god, we can. The pickaxe can get rid of these massive boulders. This is going to be amazing. Tons of stone here as well. Ideal for the fish pond. And there we go. We have got a chanterelle, some common mushroom. We can now make another dried common mushroom. So far, we've only got two chanterelle and two red. I want to get five so we can try and dry them. It seems to just give us the common all the time. I guess that's what it's called, common. Right, we'll take this tree and then we'll go straight to the beach. Got plenty of wood. I'll also take this one. Oh my god. We just got another book. Woody's Secret. This is our third time. So reading this is going to gain us some more foraging XP. Boom. That is amazing. Right, finally, we are going to repair the darn bridge. Let's do it. 300 pieces. And we are across. So we've got some wormies. Oh, another one of these books as well. Jack be nimble, Jack be thick. We've already got this one. So this is going to give us some combat experience if we read this, which we definitely need. I will learn that. Now we've got some coral, we've got some sea urchin. Now there's a good period in summer that actually produces so much stuff on that tidal beach. I'm going to bait these crab pots up as well because I forgot to do it. Look, you can actually see the bait in there. Look how awesome they look. I love that. Might do a spot of fishing for one or two hours, try and get that super cucumber to sell. Now we've got some broken glasses. We're going to use them later on. And there we go, I managed to get one before we ended the night. Lovely. Now, I'm actually not selling any of these good fish yet. Until we get to level 10 fishing, which we are pretty close to, I think. We're so close to level 9, we have to be. And we made some good money today. 4,000 gold, let's go. The dried common mushrooms are 325. That is insane. 
the most valuable thing that we've literally sold. More than the gold mayonnaise and the strawberry jelly. Right, it is the 9th. The bookseller's in town today. And we've got another storm tomorrow. Nice. And some neutral luck, which means going to the mines might be okay. Why have I lost some stamina? Interesting. I didn't pass out or anything. So more torches. I cannot get a cloth to save my life. But look, guys. We have got a summer spangle, which is finally ready. And our beautiful sunflowers. Look how awesome they look. Oh, this crop got hit by lightning. No. Right, we've got some wheat. And some coffee beans. So we've got some space now for some other crops. So we do need the summer spangle. They look so nice with these sprites. And the sunflower, of course. Now, I will keep some gold sunflowers. Because they'll be great gifts, to be honest. I can give them to Evelyn. Now, we've got eight sunflower seeds. I can actually probably plant some more of those. We've also got some coffee beans too, though. Um, I'll probably do some coffee up here. And then we'll do some sunflowers down here. It looks like we've got another oak resin. Nice. That's Oh, no, it's pine tar. Interesting. Now, we do actually need that for our bundle as well. And that's going to complete, I think, the exotic foraging, right? Yep, there we go. The exotic foraging. Oh, look at the maple syrup. That looks so good. So, the pine tar is going to be the last one. I think that's what I'm going to put it in. The exotic foraging will be done. Right, let's go sort the chickens out. Oh, now the oak resin is done. Let's let these outside. Now, do we actually need that as well? I know that can be used for the same bundle. Enchanter, yeah, we've already put the enchanter, the oak resin in there. So, that could be used or saved for some kegs later on. I will make like um, a little oak tree farm, I think. So we can get a lot of oak resin for kegs. Start getting on that wine. Chickens are looking healthy. They're looking very good and happy. Good quality eggs that we're getting now as well. Do we have any oak seeds? We've only got eight. I could maybe make a start. Oh, we've got nine now. Nice. There we go. I'm going to have it going across here. We'll have a nice path. I need to get rid of those pine trees and this big stump, which we need to upgrade our axe. Uh, and this is going to look quite nice. I've, all the way through the middle, below the chickens, next to the greenhouse. We'll have some beautiful oak trees with some oak resin. Now, we are going to go straight to the mine, so let's go. Good morning, Chief. He's doing good. I'll give him some water when we uh, come back to the farm later. Because we have got stuff to do. I see some wormies hiding here. Oh, a lost book. Here's Marnie and Elliot. Should we see what Marnie looks like? Uh, oh, we can't. She's just gone in. Let's have a look. That's her portrait. Very, very similar. And this is what Pierre looks like. Again, very similar. Just had a spruce up his hair, some detail. I think they look awesome. But here's George. Oh, looks like another gloomy day. And here is Evelyn, of course. George is always a little less grumpy in the summer. The warm weather softens his bones. You might not be able to tell, but I can. I've known him for 60 years. Oh, my God. Right, we're going to give her some broken glasses. Now, relax. I know what you're thinking. This, this is trash. Don't worry. Evelyn actually likes them. Thank you, dear. I've been looking everywhere for my reading glasses. My, my, they be they've become filthy. So, when you read the description of the broken glasses, it actually says that someone's lost them and it belongs to somebody. And it's actually Evelyn. I mean, there's a lot of them. <laughs> she must lose a lot of them. But there's Pam. Hi, stranger. And it actually does count towards Evelyn's liked gifts. As you can see, it's right there with sweet peas and daffodils. So this trash item is actually all not that bad. We can find so much of those and just give them to Evelyn. It's crazy. Oh, let's say hello to Linus. There's also some moss here, which I'll take. I'll get two from there. There he is. Oh, I think this looks awesome as well. Look how cool he looks. Uh, have you come to ridicule me? No, stop saying that. I'm just minding my own business. I know. I've actually got nothing for you today. Sorry. Oh, there's a spice berry. Maybe we'll give them this. Silver quality. Come here, Linus. There we go. It's a great gift. Thank you. Not even one heart yet, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Give us time. Walter's just learning to socialize all over again. He's not the best at it at the moment, but we'll get there. So, like I said, we aren't going to do any time lapse or anything like that. You can come with me, do some mining together, and yeah, let's have a good time. 
50 bug meat. Wow, we could even make more steak, but we're going we're to be all right. We don't need to right now. Shall I pop the lucky lunch? You know what? I'm going to. We're going to eat the lucky lunch. That's going to give us max health. There we go. And, of course, the luck, because I do want to progress down. That's what we're going to do today. Oh, a dwarf scroll. We still need... Was it the yellow one we need now? We only need one. Got some slime. A winter root. I like to have the pickaxe first. Throws me off. Oh, we're stuck here. They cornered me. Right, we're taking care of those. There's one more bat left. He's dead. So now we need to just try and find a way down. Oh, there we go. Easy as that. That's the first ladder done. We've got a topaz. I will go for these dust sprites because we need the coal and for the monster slay goal. So, first bit of iron. We literally have zero iron ore, so I'll, if I find any, I'll be happy. There's a way down. I think the luck's already uh, taken into effect, I can tell. It's been very generous with the ladders. Ooh, Omni Geode. Nice. Look at that, we're getting frozen geodes and everything. Okay, I probably jinxed it. I can't find the ladder now. Oh, there we go. <laughs> right, more iron. I see a jade to the left here. Oh, a ladder drop too. Right, I will take all the loot though. There we go. Finally, some decent iron. It's been rubbish so far. Okay, there's a tough slime down here. Let's take care of him. Oh, nothing that Walter can't handle. And we got the lead rod. 18 to 27. Ah, no. The insect head is still better. I'm still going to stick with this. And it's faster as well. There's the way down, but I do want these crates. You can get some good stuff in here sometimes. A jade. Okay, I'll take it. Better than nothing. Nice. We have got the combat boots. Now, this can be the new boots that we need for the mines. I forgot to put on the... Um... Oh, no, sorry. We're already... Wor oh, yeah. We put away our green wellies. We are already wearing the good defense ones, but the combat are even better. Yeah, they're going to give us more defense. Now, let's see if I can try and get down five more. Ooh, some gold ore. Oh, they're way down. Let's go. Come on, Slam. Give me a ladder. Oh, another blue scroll. I feel like we found so much. Oh, a ladder drop. Let's go. Wait, is there going to be coal at the end of here? I'm just going to go down. Ooh, okay. The pickaxe is so much better. It's really making things faster for me. Right, no ladder drop from the monsters. So I've, oh, no. We've got to try and find this fast. There it is. <laughs> Ooh, okay. An amethyst up here with some iron. Is that a diamond to the left? Oh, my God. I think it was. There's the ladder as well. Let's take this diamond. Look how nice that looks. Ooh now I think we actually need to donate this one. Yeah, we've already done one to the CC. We needed two. One for the museum and one for the community center. So we've got both of them now. We can't sell any of them yet. Oh, one hit. So we're on 55 already. There's no way I can get to Oh, another ladder drop. Could I literally get to 60? Hold on. Come on, Walter. Oh my god, look at this iron. What the hell? There's so much. Do I have any food? Just the carp. We've got some cave carrots as well. And two winter roots. So we do have a little bit of something that we could graze on. I feel like we're not going to get down to 60, sadly. But look at all this stuff that we can find. We're finding some great stuff. Can't spend any longer. Oh, there we go. 58. Oh, 59. Oh, it's this horrible one. Damn it. It ain't going to work. This is the worst floor in the game. Oh my god, we can. <laughs> we got down to 60. Did we just seriously do 20 floors? Or did we do 15? I think we just did 15 floors. What did we get there, by the way? The wooden mallet? Is that what it was? Still not as good as the insect head. Wow, I can't believe we just did that, guys. We'll get the jade and we'll get out of here. So I do keep all the weapons up here. We've got so many. We've got two lead rods. Two wooden mallets. We've got the wooden club. The forest sword. We could sell a lot of these, to be honest. Get some extra money. I got 92 pieces of iron ore. That is insane. We'll go and put our boots in our drawers at home. It's clothing, right? Let's get out of here, Walter. That was a great mine run. I might do it again tomorrow because we're close. We can. Uh, we gotta get to the gold soon. Oh, new wormies. 
Got some more squash seeds. Right, I'm going to shut this door because it does give you a little boost in friendship for the chickens, just to let you guys know. I actually got our first lot of solar essence as well. Two more dwarf scrolls, just going to sell. I literally don't need them. Got so many. I have to do the, uh, the squash seed tomorrow. We didn't make much money, but we didn't really sell anything, to be honest. But it is a gloomy, cold, wet, stormy day. We've got the rerun for the omelette, which we've already got. And it is going to be the festival tomorrow, of course. Have we got anything good that we can put in there? Oh, no. Right, we've got some mail. Mayor Lewis, yes, tomorrow brings something to contribute for the potluck. I've got to put these boots away in the drawer. Taking a lot of space up. Should we put on the wellies today for a fishing day? Or should we go back to the... No, we should go back to the mines. What was the luck? Luck will not be on your side, but I tell you guys, it never happens. I feel like we'll get a good luck. But hold on, we've got some crops today in the rain. We've got some more hot peppers. Another hot pepper down here. The melons are so close to being done. I'm so excited. Is there any space for the squash? I don't think so. Right, hot pepper. Have we sold one of those already? Shipped it? Yes. Maybe I could make some like... No, we've got loads of strawberries still left over and the melons coming. Let's just ship the hot pepper. Although, doesn't somebody like them? I think it's the Mayor Lewis, right? But I don't really care for that. Chickens are going to eat inside today because it's raining, but that's fine. They've got plenty of food. We'll sell some mayonnaise. We'll also check the mushroom cave as well because I feel like we'll have some more today and we can dry the next lot. Oh, there we go. We've got something different this time. Our first morel in here. Now, hold on. What are we looking like? We can't actually dehydrate any mushroom because we need five. We're so close to the red, but I still don't even know if we can dry those. I just want to try it. I'm thinking of building a fish pond. But I actually forgot what we need for it. Now, I do have plenty of stone. And I know it's green algae and seaweed, right? I think it's five of those, five of those. Stone. And then, is that it? And then just money? Now, we do actually have a gold quality super cucumber that I could put in the pot tomorrow. That might be quite good. I know Iridium might be better, but I don't think any of these... I think it goes on value. The more expensive the item is, the better. Yes, we can. It's 5k. It's not too bad. Two days out. I did say I want to do this. Build this right away. Now, this is going to be awesome. I'm kind of thinking right here like this. It's going to give me space for the tree farm that I'm going to do. I've got an idea with fencing and also path. Yeah, I feel like that's going to work. Just give me a sec. I've got to chop down some fence to get access to it if I want to fill up the can. It's almost going to act like a well, which I like the idea of. Is it worth getting the big chest recipe yet? Ooh, I think, we'll, I think we could possibly wait. I think the calendar would be good to have in the house for Walter, so we can keep track of days and what's going on in the festivals and things like that. I'm actually going to purchase that. It's a good addition to the house, to the cabin. I feel like Walter needs one of those, you know. His memory might not be the best. More squash. Got two there. We can keep up to date with what's happening around the valley. Oh, is that a grape as well? Nice. And a spice berry. Not really done much foraging, to be honest. I've actually never uh, shipped a grape or a spice berry. So that'd be good for the collection. We do need to ship one of everything, so... They'll be going straight into the shipping bin when we get back. Now, I should have brought the rod. We could have caught the new fish, but it's okay. Oh, there we go. Now, level 60, or floor 60 here, is quite good for iron as well. Switching between 40 and this one is very good. Yeah, we've already got the green one. As you can see, there's quite a bit of iron here. It's not even like we need it. We've got so much of this right now. But I do need to find a way down, so there it is. Oh, look, already a way down. I told you guys, this is meant to be a bad luck day. Look how good this is already starting to feel. The ladder's even spawned for me here, look. I told you, bad luck days are legit. I love them. Oh, another ladder drop. There's some iron. Good monster drops. Oh, I've leveled up a combat, I think that was. Getting frozen geodes and everything. This is insane. Look at all the stuff that we can find here. Oh, another ladder drop. Just like that, 65. Let's keep going. And another ladder drop. This is absolutely wild. And another ladder drop. Guys, I'm having better luck than yesterday. And it's an official bad luck day. Insane. And another ladder. These are coming so fast. I'm not even really struggling finding them. 
getting to 70 today is going to be nice. It's quite a big floor, this. This is the one I'm struggling with so far. But I always seem to struggle on this floor because it's just so, yeah, so big. So many rocks that you could break. Oh, we actually did get a refined quartz from breaking open those. I forgot to bring more food. I've only literally got two carp. Oh, no. Please let me get to 70. Oh, there's that ladder drop. Let's go. Oh, and another one. <laughs> oh, I want to be able to go and get the amethyst, but my stamina. But there's another ladder. I'll take this amethyst and the quartz. And there we go, officially on 70. Another reward. We've got the master slingshot, which I never use. There we go. We're getting from distance. Doesn't really hurt him too much, does it? This is just stone. What a waste of stone. Look how rubbish that is. When you can just come in with a sword, a few hits, see you later. Oh, yeah, the stamina's quite low. I don't think we're going to be able to find 75. I don't think we've got the stamina for this. We need extreme luck to be... Oh, hold on. 73. Oh, this is a small floor as well. Quite easy to find a ladder on this one. Not too many rocks to break. Hopefully we can find it soon. There we go. In the middle. Oh, and one's already spawned for me. We did it. 75. The luck that we have had. And there's a ladder drop from the skeleton anyway. Didn't even, didn't even need to find one on the floor. A ruby. The first ever one we found. Finally. If I had more food, I would have kept going. Uh, hold on. I've got food in the... What am I doing? We've literally got food here. I've got seven bug steaks. What the hell? Never mind, guys. We'll keep going. It's only 9pm. We might be able to do this. There's a... Oh my god, a diamond. Guys, bad luck days are good luck days. I swear. What the hell's going on? I'm having such good luck. And there's the ladder from the skeleton. Some summer squash. Get them in the mines as well. Nice. Oh, a ladder. Come on. We're so close. So it is 11.40. If I don't find a ladder by like 12.30, maybe 1, I've crafted a staircase. We had so much stone on us. So guaranteed we're going to go to 80. And there we go. I didn't even need to use it because we got the ladder. We are on floor 80. We can start hunting for gold. And we've got firewalker boots. Oh, let's go. These are amazing, Walter. Look how cool they look. Now, floor 80 or 81 actually is my favorite floor because it's a great way to get gold. Just keep resetting it. And also a good place to get fiber and a chance for mixed seeds. I think I might come down again tomorrow now just to get gold. We're actually here. We've done it. I know crafting bait is quite good with bug meat as well. But the bug steaks requires 10. So what about if we do 10 of these? That's just we've crafted 50 bait right there. It's always good to get some. And then we'll do four bug steaks. Right, we can actually do boom, two more iron overnight and one more gold. Oh, we can actually sell quickly. Oh, we're going to pass out, aren't we? I was just saying we can sell some jelly. But we might not We might not make this. Come on, Walter. Oh, we passed out inside the house. We might lose some stamina tomorrow. But never mind. We can take a rest on the couch and get our stamina back up. That's what Walter can do. You know, he's a little bit tired. He had a stupid late night. So he needs to rest. Should we make our critical strike chance increase by 50% or make our attacks deal more damage? I always tend to go with a fighter. Walter is a fighter, you know. So I think we're going to go with that. Level 7 mining as well, the crafting recipe for gold bars. And we made a little bit of extra money today. Nearly 3k. Nice. But today is the last day of the episode and we're actually going to play through this. This is the festival. Um, tomorrow is sunny. We have got... Ooh, bad luck day. So that would be good for the mines. Now, like I said, I was going to go to the mines and get some gold. But we've got the damn festival. We've got our first lot of summer squash. Yes. So that means we can sell one. And one for the CC. Now also, we've got the... Oh, we've got another diamond. Yes, yeah, so we can actually sell this one now. And this ruby that we found, we need to donate. Maybe we'll keep hold of that diamond for a crystallarium, though. So I'm going to sell a few things, get a bit of cash today. Um, we don't need those dwarf scrolls. I've got too many topaz. I've got an abundance of amethyst. So for the festival today, I'm pretty sure you can use a gold quality or iridium super cucumber for the best response. That's what I normally tend to do. Now, of course, the calendar, I need to put that in the house. 
this is going to be awesome. Now, where do we put this? Um, the pitchfork's got to go. So there we go. We can actually see now people's birthdays, trout derby. Every morning we'll check what's going on. That's perfect. I love it. And because we are going to some kind of festival, we're going to look jazzy. We're going to put our smart shirt on. And maybe we'll put on the work boots because they look a little bit more fancier. So there we go. You know what? Let's take off the hat as well. Let's look even more smarter. This is what he's going to dress like when he goes to festivals. Now I need to move these um, preserve jars. There's a reason for that, which you might see to No, it's not going to be today. Well, I don't think there's anything else we could do. Crops, yeah, there's none that we can harvest. Melons might be done tomorrow. I guess what we'll do today is we'll donate some of this stuff. Uh, we can't do the museum though, can we? So we'll do some stuff for the CC. But let's go. Let's go to the festival, let's speak to the people, and let's uh, hopefully get the best response. Now there is a shop here that we could maybe have a little look. There's loads of decal, there's star fruit there for 3k. We don't need it though. I don't think there's nothing that we need there. It's a good chance to show off all the portraits as well. Let me know your favourite. So we've got Mal on here. I'll be back here by the trees. The air is a lot cooler. We have also got Sam. Oh, new journal entry. What's that? What's just happened there? Uh, there's Sam. Governor, who cares? Why should I care about some random old guy? Penny, I think Penny looks adorable by the way, I love this one. We do this festival every year to give the governor a taste of everything the valley has to offer. We've seen Linus already, love it. Here's Maru, I think that's very similar to the first one, just looks a little bit more realistic and natural. Oh, there's Arvi as well, again, not really much change. We've seen Elliot already and Leah, I love Leah's, probably one of my favourites for the Bachelorette's course, Sexy Jody. How you doing Jody? Hello Caroline, I love Caroline's as well actually. Pam. Looking as good as ever. Ah, you do. Does Walter look good? Yeah, it's looking snazzy, right? Hello, Marnie. Oh, Gus looks awesome as well. I love Gus's. It just looks more like Gus, if that makes any sense. Shane, now this one, some people might say he doesn't look as good, but I think it suits him more because he does look a little bit like, you know, he drinks a lot of beer, right? There's Demetrius. Looks awesome. Robin, I think she looks awesome as well here. Look at that. Emily is unresponsive. George and Evelyn, ah, oh, hello Evelyn. Ah, oh, the smell of the ocean takes me back many years, long before you were born. Um, no, I'm, I'm like the same age as you two, remember? Can't I have a little peace and quiet to enjoy the ocean? Oh, sorry, George. All right, here is Abigail. I think Sebastian looks cool as well with the hoodie. But you know we've got to take a look at our boy, Willie. How's he looking? Oh yeah, he looks so good. I don't know why, but it reminds me. The actor, the one of the greatest act actors of all time, Robin Williams, who sadly passed away. But yeah, Willie always reminds me of Robin Williams, especially from um, the film uh, Jumanji. Do you know when he grows a beard and stuff like that? I think it's just the eyes and the nose that really, really make me picture Robin Williams. I don't know why, maybe it's just me. Let me know down below. Hi there, Walter. Are you taking a breather? Yeah, buddy. Uh, you're not getting involved with the festival? No, you're just gonna... Stay here, <laughs> stay at the ocean, even though you live here and this is your view every single day. Uh, it's not a bad life, is it, to be honest? All right, mate, well, I've got to go and uh, chuck something in the pot, you know? Have you put anything in there? I bet a slippery fish or something, right? Slimy fish. Oh, the wizard's here. Shall we see what the wizard looks like? Oh, yeah, that looks cool. I like that. Right, let's chuck something in the pot. So we're going to go with the gold super cucumber. I'm pretty sure that gives us the best response. Oh, there's the governor as well. What a lovely occasion. It's always a joy to visit Stardew Valley. Well, folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you've all put high quality ingredients in there. Oh, gold quality is high. We don't want the governor to regret his visit to the valley now. Well, governor, would you do us the honor of tasting the soup? Um, of course. I've been looking forward to this all year. Hmm. Yes, there we go. There's the achievement, guys. The best response. Oh my, that's the best soup I've ever tasted. Oh, you're right, it's delicious. Wonderful job, everyone. Now, who else wants to taste? <laughs> Let's go. Of course, Pam's there. What I want to do now is quickly run straight over to the CC and donate these things. Walter looks snazzy today. Oh, I've actually got some foraging too. Oh, look, another one of those possums. I think it was a possum. Right, quickly, we'll do the puffer fish. Da, 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 da. Speciality. Boom. 
So we only need the sandfish now from the desert, and that is done. Helper's bundle we can't do yet. Children's bundle, only the ice cream. I can't believe we, we could have had the ancient doll. I'm so annoyed. You know what? We have got a little bit of cash. I think I might just do the 2,500 gold. It's one of the cheapest ones to do. Uh, and we do get some chocolate cake. Nice. Right, we've got no batteries or iridium yet. Uh, we've still not got a fire course, but we are on the right floors now. So we should find one of those very soon. All right, the garden, sunflower, some spangle. There we go. That bundle's done now. A quality sprinkler. Let's go. That's going to help us towards our... All right, some squash. Still waiting for the tomato and the blueberry. Right, I think all we need now is... Oh, I think that's everything. Where's the... Oh, the pine tar. Yeah, the artisan bundle. Which is... Uh, the exotic foraging bundle, sorry. And that is also another bundle done today. Perfect. Oh, awesome's bounty. Good foraging and defense. Great energy. Not bad for mines, to be honest. We've actually got some decent food now. But there we go. It's everything that we can do so far. We're quite close. We are very, very close. Ending the episode off with another 3k. Every day we seem to get some decent amount of money now. Obviously, we've got to wait for a big harvest yet. Blueberries and melons to pop up. But guys, that is where I'm going to end this one. That is all we've got time for for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please smash the like button and do subscribe to never miss any of Walter's episodes into his journey and his life, his new adventure. Keep posting lots of suggestions and feedback on the series. Get involved in the comments. I read every single one. I love reading all your comments. I have a little notepad that I write down all your suggestions. So keep them coming. Let me know what you think we should do in the next episode. What should we work towards? I feel like we've got the fish pond. We've got the pickaxe. We're down to gold. What do you want to see next? Should we go for the barn? But until then, I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe and stay cozy. Yeah.